Uh, Paul, what a week it's been, and the dust has barely settled over Charlton. And I'm sure you've probably rewatched everything. First of all, brave man's game. What a performance! What a, what a sight that was seeing him jump that last. How proud yeah. you are of him! Uh, it was an amazing race. You know, the, the, the you know Irish Gold Cup winner, best stay and chaser in Ireland, and the King George winner, best stay and chaser in England, jumped the last together. What a race! Fast time, when an end-to-end -end gallop. I'd say. You know, I've been involved in some really good Gold Cups, obviously, but I'd say that's as good as any of them, if not one of the best Gold Cups you'll ever see. Well, time forms rated Gallop and Deschamps the same as yeah. Corto Star, yeah. I think yeah. it is. What, what would your views be on that? And what are your yeah. views on your horse and the trip? People said, did he definitely stay? Is he a three-miler? What are your thoughts? Well, if you took the winner out, right? no one would even question whether <laughs> yeah. he stayed. He'd have won seven lengths probably hard on the bridle. Just like he got in a real battle, battle from the back of the last. And, you know, a lot of horses found that tough, that last final furlong. You know, it doesn't mean they don't stay. He just got beat by a better horse. Definitely stays. He's proved that yesterday. Um, I don't know excuses at all. He just got beat by a better horse and Paul rode him for luck and he got the luck and you know got there at the right time and um, oh, I'm mighty proud of him and you know next year we'll look forward to giving it another go. You know, I've been there plenty of horses like have been second and next year have gone and turned it around in one or things circumstances change and ground's a bit different. So, you know, yeah, we got beat and beat by a very, very good horse, but next year's another year. And how's he come out of the race? Because it must have been quite a tough race on both yeah. of them. How was he this morning? Well, he was really tired straight afterwards, but, like, funny enough, back along when Demon ran, he used to be exhausted for days. Mm. He was straight at his grub up this morning. I saw him have a half hour on the walker this morning. He was fresh as anything, so that's a really good sign. And is that a sign to think that you could run him again? Would be Aintree come too soon? It's obviously four weeks. Would you, yeah. would you go to the bowl? Well, the only two options you've got are the bowl or mm. go to Punchestown. There's yeah. nothing else for him. Um, we're sort of planning to run Clander's a bow in the bowl because he's coming back really nicely and yeah. it'd be good to have a really fresh horse for that, you know. So mm -hmm. that would be so then that leaves us just probably punches town and I don't know, do we want to go and take Gallop into Chambon if he goes there yeah. again? It, I'm not sure. So I'll have a talk to the lads that own him and we'll make a bit of a plan. Doesn't have to run again, but if, you know, if he banks back and was in Gorda, we could consider it. Yeah, he's he's obviously the the idea of coming back and doing it again next year, you're happy to take yeah. this Take, take it on again. It said yeah. Aplutar did it, he came back and, and, and won again, so you're happy to, to give it another shot. You don't really need to do much different in terms of yeah. race planning. Oh, absolutely, definitely give it another go because a lot can happen in a year in racing and um, yeah, he ran so well. I mean, I'd like to think he'd be there the next two or three years, you know, Court and Denman and those horses kept on running every year. You've just got to plan their campaign, so I suspect it'd be Charlie Hall or something similar to that, depending mm -hmm. on the ground. King George would be his big target, a little break and go back to Cheltenham. It just proved you don't need to give him a run between. It's probably easier to train him to get him at his best like yesterday with that little bit of a gap. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it'll be an exciting challenge next year to try and see if we can find a few pounds. Yeah, and what makes it even more exciting after the end of this week is those two horses that you've yeah. got to look forward to next year as well. Stay away, Faye, chasing, I assume, and yeah. Stage Star, and even more plans out in open company. Yeah, I mean, they're exciting young horses, and of course the bumper horse, Captain Teague, as well, he's going to be very smart and obviously heard learn. It's nice to have those horses coming through. Stage Star, it's a bit of a challenge with him because he has to go left-handed, so that sort of, I haven't really mapped out a plan really for him, but I dare say we'd like to think we'd be right there with him. Um, yeah. And stay away, Faye. We'll definitely have one more run this season because he's only had three runs. Possibly could go to Aintree or Punchestown, one of those two. And then um, an exciting novice chaser. Yeah, well, what a week it's been for you, Paul. Yeah. It's been brilliant to see and uh, and, and your mm. horses continue to run in good form, complete unknown in the next. Well, yeah, I <laughs> thought he was our best chance of the day, to be honest with you. Um, you know, he's fresh and well. He, he loves this ground. I think this trip's perfect. I'm not totally convinced he gets three miles. It was when he won the EBF final last year, it was a similar type yeah. of ground. It's just he's got to overcome a little bit of inexperience, so if he jumps well, he's got a lovely chance. Yeah, well, brilliant. Brilliant week, Paul. Well done, and uh, we look forward to seeing what, how the plans materialise for your stars. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank